Who's a guinea pig? Who likes tasting things? Oh, it's the bad side. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's some ham. Oh, that's good. Good. Say it now. <laughs> so this is a plant. But who, so people who like to taste say, just before we do this, just sorry, one second. Very important. Actually, this is very important. Um, your responsibility with plant medicine is very powerful. Okay. Okay. And tonight you're going to taste a lot. So you might want to go to the toilet now because you're going to be going a lot possibly. But just be careful when you take it. Know your own body. If it's too much, it's too much. <laughs> so, I want your hand. Yeah, okay. This is the this is the first person the first few people are gonna make everybody feel like I don't want this. You get a small one because you're you have to sense it. You don't need much, believe me. Just leave her, probably. And whoever gets a lot maybe needs a lot? And if you need some, uh, some salad, anybody? No? You try? Just to get you going. Just a little bit. Oh, just mm, nice. So, anybody? So, <laughs> My, I think, I think you don't want to taste because you will, no. you'll be like this after honeymoon. So, hands up. We like this. <laughs> Everything, whatever you want to say, this you like. Do you like it or not? Like, I like it. Don't So, hands up. Who didn't like it? Okay. Some both. Um. Hands up who, not sure, not sure. So this is one of the most bitter, go ahead. As you know, herbs, it's a North American plant, Hydrastis caledensis. Just say Hydrastis caledensis, it's no creation name probably. Hydrastis, maybe. Um, Super plant to get your liver activated for all this other stuff. Um, very good for menstrual problems, women who have a lot of um, heat and cramping. So if you're menstruating right now, if you're menstruating, you might just be menstruating more. So I'm just filling a bowl full of cinnamon powder. Yeah. Very beautiful organic cinnamon powder. Powder, really, 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 really good quality. So it's good quality. Yeah. In other words, <laughs> it's not super sweet. Super sweet cinnamon powder. Cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon. Is uh, not the best quality. You don't get the the, the bitters. So much bitters. This is a little more bitter and sweet, but not so so much. So if you want, just pass a little around. If you guys want to try it? I'm going to give you a concoction, man. You just going to... Six bananas. Six pears as well. <coughs> so <laughs> this mix I'm going to give you is for rheumatism. I hope nobody in the room suffers from rheumatism. So you are definitely going to enjoy this movie. You're never going to get rheumatism. Yeah. Um, six pairs. Six, but uh, can I uh, pour into a little bit of water? I think you're going to need a bit of that. Yeah. Fine. Hang on a second here, because I, I, um. Okay. No. 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 So this is for rheumatism, but it's for a whole lot of other things. Plants can be used for many things, as you know, and just one condition. So the, the kind of ingredients, we all know what bananas are good for, right? Yeah? 
Yeah. Tell me something good about bananas. Huh? You're not hungry after. You're not hungry. That's a good. Why? Why would that be? Why would you not be hungry after? Camelita? Camelita? Can we get that? Good. Thanks. Me and you are going to be friends. How much? Two? Three cups. Three cups. Two 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 cups. Two
Because it was easily available. And it does go to think everything was yellow. Mm. I give this to a patient once for uh, dandruff and uh, eczema on the hair. Yeah, Worst mistake I made. <laughs> Because they. <laughs> 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 no, no, afterwards I can tell you that much. But yeah, this, this, this. How much? For this, three. Oh yeah, sorry. You're on, you're on the button. Yeah, sorry. Three <laughs> tablespoons, Kaskaji. Three liters. Fitness grammar. Fitness grammar. Three liters. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. So just give it a good whiz. Give it a whiz. So, powerful antioxidant. My God, it's one of the best. And it's antifungal, anti anti inflammatory. I mean, it's used a lot for again, rheumatic conditions. So, whiz her up. Whiz her up. Keep going, no, keep going. Give her a good whiz. So are we going to get this in here now? No, no, but will it, will it blend in that, do you think? Okay, now we need ginger. About one inch, which is one inch is like a, one inch, no, three inches, so it'll be about, what's that? Ten centimeters? Seven centimeters? Seven centimeters. Just 
da voditeljici da proba, pa je bilo grozno i napravila je ružnu facu, pa je rekla da je tako raditi facu da ono ostaće bez posla, ali da onda je kamermanu i kamermanu mi se super svidjela. I onda je, kao ona rekla da ona preferira ujutro gin and tonic, jel? I onda kao, bilo bi zgodno da se zamijene voditeljica i kamerman, pa da se on oduševljava pred kamerama, da ona... So you don't want to make this much at home unless you have a party. So don't worry about the amounts. Just enjoy the lecture and the taste, because I'll send this information to you guys. Okay. And then you do is you go home and really mess up the recipe and send me your attempt and additions, and I'll drink it. So my friends, you all know what this is, right? What do you know? Don't don't be don't be crazy about this. Just what do you know? I have eaten it while I was a child. I'm sucking. And who showed children to do that? Yeah. Okay. I don't know without that. No one showed me about plants at all. I just tried stuff. I chewed grasses and everything. <laughs> I even drank aftershave. <laughs> I smoked when I was nine. I was a bit of a substance abuse kind of guy. And then I, I disappeared into the world for like 15 years and came back to this. So this is a, it, ha, it has a, how do you say in creation, it's, I don't know how you guys say chemistry, like, but I'll, I'll, I'll say it as, in, as I know it, genistein, genistein, you know genistein, it's a, it's a component in this, and genistein is actually, they, they found out it's anti-angio, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not anti you know. No, ne, ne, ne. Znači, uh, to je koja dosta, znači, uh, rahu smeta tako da mu dotok hranjivih tvari zaustavi, tak nešto, evo. Okay, so... Znači, pa je genis ten. Anyone who smokes in the room? Ko puši? Yes. Hands up smokers. I started again, by the way. <laughs> smokers? No smokers? Ne znam kako se to, to se nešto sa G piše, sa tako da ne znam... Genis ten, genis ten. Get you might I should have wrote that better. So Sorry. The paper wasn't much help with my writing. So basically, if you know smokers, and if you are a smoker, chew these flowers. Okay. They're going to do, chew them all the time. They're going to protect your throat and your mouth from cancer. Because mm -hmm. the smokers, a lot of smokers get... Uh, it, it, you, know, you know, I hear you, man. I really hear you. And uh, for me, I've tried that with all my patients. Try to get them off their bad habits, yeah. and some of them don't come back, and maybe others get better. I don't know. So what I what I would say is get off smoking, of course, no. <laughs> but, if, but if somebody's not willing to do that, it's better to give them sometimes an option that helps them. So maybe by eating this a lot, you may find. Uh, there's no scientific proof for this, I'm just saying it. You may find that someone maybe needs less cigarettes. That's how much I trust medicine, plant medicine. Okay? Pick the nice color. Okay, let's do let's do a power juice, so we need some kiwis. So we need 12 kiwis. I think that's all the kiwis. I'm just thinking that's all the kiwis. So yeah, it's kiwis, spinach and apple. It's a 
and then three lobbies, and three, three lobbies, and a hundred, a hundred actually because there's a lot of people, which is enough. Cool. Uh, two things. Three, two, three, 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 yeah. three, 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 But this is more iron, firm. But you can't drink much. So we're putting lemon as well. Um, I use the skin. It's best to get them without without wax, no wax. But it contains powerful oils. They're really anti carcinogenic you know? Citronella oils and all, all of those oils and limonene and these oils, there's a lot of research with anti-cancer for this. We, we all know with the citrus fruits, they're very powerful skin. I mean, different with the juice. In you go. So about half a lemon, pull a, pull a, pull a lemon in, pull a lemon in. Um, we can use some apple because you cooked it, so put in three apples please. So again, You know, it's it's funny. I try to give names to my juices, like power juice or power juice, and you know, anti-rheumatic juice and all of this. Actually, most juices are anti-inflammatory, anti-microbial because you put a lot, very nutritious, loads of micronutrients. So really, juicing once you get a combination that tastes good and has herbal medicine in it, then it's a good thing. You can call it what you like. Because I love you guys. Anybody have a problem with alcohol? No. So this is Siberian ginseng. It's a one-on-one. -on -one, it's a fluid extract. It's very powerful. And, it, yeah. and you know the Russians? Oh, they spent so much money on trying to find this plant. They really did. And the whole Russian revolution, at least since the 70s and 60s, they powered their whole factories on this stuff. The people worked two times longer. The soldiers could stay out in the front. And that obviously means really cold weather in Russia. The Chinese have their own, the Asians have their own, and the Russians went, we want one. You can imagine a Russian guy going, we want one, you know, like, find, 
Siberian ginseng. But we don't know. Is there a Siberian? We don't know. So they went through all the records, talked to local people, and they found this plant, which actually isn't a ginseng, as in genus. But okay, I'm going to put a lot in here, guys, because I like it. Znači nije originalni ginseng kukineski, nego su našli neku biljku koja bi bila dovoljno snažna i učinkovita kao kukineski. Quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup. So anybody, anybody want to fight? Anybody want to dance? Let's go. Let's, let's mix her up now. Sorry. Well, no, I'm just doing this. I just want everybody to have a bit. It's spitting too much, was it? Did I get on your apron? Sorry. That's lovely. It's suits you. Okay. Have a, have a taste, guys. It's a power juice in the Siberian ginseng. It's a bit of a cheat because that really gives it power. So see how, you, see how the taste works, guys. Lemon, I love in juices. Spinach, we all know. Popeye, did you get that? You have a Popeye? Oh my God. Popeye must have sold billions of spinach around the world. So let's right, let's let's do a summary of what's in this, right? Shall we? Okay. So there's twelve kiwis, three medium apples, three hundred grams of spinach, half a lemon with rind, about a cup, two cups of nettle juice or nettle tea, and a, and a quarter cup of Siberian ginseng. Oh baby! It's, it's really a power juice. The Siberian ginseng gives it power. Um, it's, it's tough sometimes to say what it is, and I could tell you it's a power juice and it gives you energy, whatever. But because it's full of, you know, you know kiwis, right? A lot of yeah. potassium, very good for blood pressure. <coughs> yeah, it takes it. Take, uh, sorry, yeah, I'm getting carried away. It's a juice. To see. Oof. Yeah. So it's better to drink in the morning for me? This? Yeah. Yeah. But juices are bad in the morning, aren't <laughs> so they, So you got, who's got high blood pressure? Or can have hypertension, I have a little bit sometimes. What about low, low blood pressure? Low, low blood pressure. pressure? Then you need to eat more of this stuff. Liquors, okay. But this won't raise your blood pressure, okay? Like, right, thank you. If you add this and you high blood pressure, like a lot of it, not good. So it's like, you know, it's, I mean, I can tell you again, each vegetable, I mean, with spinach, you know, I mean, it's, it's full of, packed full of micronutrients. It's like, <coughs> that's power in itself, it feeds the blood, right? Yeah. So just recognize your bodies right now. Somebody is just, who, who finished work today? Okay, so you may want a wee bit more of this juice, just to give you a bit more. Or even better, if you want, if you want more of, of this, you can have a little bit in a shot glass. So these are shot glasses as well. I give you share. Who can share? Can you share? Can you share with yourself? <laughs> no, no, no. But just, just keep it. I'll hand these out. You don't have to take. Okay. Yeah. You guys don't make them? No. I hope that everyone will see that. I don't know. 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 Okay, well the Siberian ginseng won't, it doesn't, doesn't affect uh, blood pressure. It's in, it's in. Do you guys know each other? No, you don't. Here, you keep this in. I mean, there's only a few of them, so please share them out.
I have no idea, Gracia. I'm still, I'm still doing a lot of research on what I can grow here and the Siberian ginseng. I don't think it's going to grow here. Hmm? Can you buy it from me? You get them online. I mean, this kind of strength you're not going to get in the shop. Even online, you won't. It's just for practitioners in the UK. My suggestion, my suggestion is not because I, I, I'm, I'm here to make money, but obviously I need to look after myself and my family. But if you have a complaint and you need Siberian ginseng, if it's something where you think, oh, I'll have some of that every morning, just be careful. They're powerful plants also. So I'm telling you something that's good for but it's also contraindicatory for a few things. You need to Sorry. See, see, this is this is a cleansing juice. So put some apples, apples and bananas. Everybody loves bananas, right? And I talked about bananas before. Banana a day keeps the doctor away. That's my new slogan. Yeah. <laughs> What's number two? Pineapple. I'd say pineapple. Pineapple. Okay. pineapple. Oh, I love pineapple. Uh, pineapple. She said pineapple. You a pineapple girl? Yes. Very. <laughs> yeah. So, big claims. What do we need when we claims? What do we need to do? Fiber. Fiber? Okay. Banana? Yeah. Everything? <laughs> We don't get all the fiber, of course, because I'll pass this round with a spoon later and you guys can... But the, but we, yeah, we have water-soluble fibers, like pectin, so we can still have it in the juice. Oh, how is it? I do Everything's gone, guys. Juicing was meant to be done in summer or spring. That's the best thing for green. Next time I'm going to send you the Gossy Court. I send you, no problem. Uh, sponsor name is so I, I think it's too humble for me to buy. I, I, I'm going to plant it with uh, bananas. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think the whole bag is fine. So we want fiber. What else do we need? Help me out, guys. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Help me out, okay. out there. And antioxidants. Water. Water. Well, hydration. Super important. Okay. Who eats berries? Okay. This plant, rosemary. 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 Oh. Is a is a plant that in the west. Some of the plants that I'd like to use for de detox and for cleansing, you guys wouldn't have in a juice. Some of these. Two better. I think maybe it's better. Uh, okay. Bye bye, Rouge Marin. So, Rouge Marin helps, helps for detox because it activates phase 2 in the liver. Phase 2 detox in the liver. Phase 1, phase 2. Faz, 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 it's also a blood, sti a blood stimulant, so it stimulates the blood, especially cardio cardiovascular blood. 
And also contains a lot of oils and acids that are and powerfully antioxidant. This is the most very powerful plant that you can. And in, in, in Ireland, we use this plant for people who don't speak the truth. <laughs> so anybody here has something they want to say, but just don't know how to say it. I'm not, I'm, not even, I'm not even joking, this is so true, and even yeah. maybe scientifically we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll work out what the mechanism is. If you get a lot of stagnation around cardiovascular blood, things like maybe your cardiovascular tissues get tension in your chest and blood's not moving around, maybe when this stimulates, it's like, oh! You start but saying stuff. Kind of really, Menta. Anybody, anybody, again, people who are very, anybody in the room is very liverish, kind of goes, kind of get angry inside and don't really, you know. <laughs> One? Well, no, that, we can put three. Okay. Two cups in is enough, actually. I'm not, I'm not tri 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 tribbling this up. I mean, normally I would juice nettles. Straight in, okay? I have them here, and uh, they have, they're, they're full of, they're full of uh, seed, mm. or they're almost seed. I'm going to still juice these, right? But normally before, you steep them in water for five minutes. Because it, it has tiny hairs, it's stingy. Go and try it. So hot water, you put them in the hot water. Yeah, so you want to break down, so once you see the little hairs, I mean, they're amazing heavens, like, I mean, look at that. They're like little needles, like syringes. Aren't they? But you know these plants, when, where there's a lot of animals eating these? Because this is like, this is like the, the common bear's spinach. Right. Animals eating this, the plant has even more hairs. It develops more, you know, uh, of these stingers or needles, syringes. All this uric acid, you know, it's like... So if you really have rheumatism, try drinking this straight as a juice, juice it, and you'll feel the stinging on the throat as it goes in. And my sense is that when you drink nettle juice, when you have the you know the uric acid and the sting in here, it, it, it releases histamine. People who have kind of low-grade inflammatory conditions of the digestive tract, I'd say it's probably amazing. Reflux, not reflux, uh, just, well, ref... Mm. Kind of like people get a lot of infections in the throat. And get infected. Yeah, and maybe, maybe, maybe a little reflux, reflux, but I give other herbs as well, maybe like peppermint and some bitters, also and some chamomile. Um, but try it, we're going to try it. And you guys who are brave can taste this beautiful plant juice. And the seeds, we could just talk about the seeds. The, the seeds, uh, a North American herbalist um, discovered that the seeds are very good for people who've got kidney, kidney renal failure. Pre-dialysis, pre so not, not dialysis, but pre-dialysis. So the apple, which contains a lot of pectin, Anybody who ever gets a fillings out, amalgam fillings, amalgam, okay? Before you get them out, but also after, eat loads of pectin. You know, so eat loads, loads of plants, even like pears and apples and bananas. <laughs> so make, make, make an, apple, an, an apple stew with cinnamon, right? And uh, not at the same time, also eat loads of egg, so make up like yaya. Mm -hmm. These actually really, really bind, they're like chelation, they really bind heavy metals mm -hmm. and draw them out of the body. Fiber is good in general, but apple pectin oh, is very good. 
and eggs. Yeah. Anybody got amalgam filling? Yeah. Yeah. Nasty piece of work, right? <coughs> I came to Zagreb and I went, yeah, I'm going to get them out. Got them all out, because in Ireland it's about 5,000 euro. I was talking about that she's 5,000 euro. So people in Ireland go to Pakistan. <laughs> now someone go to Hungary and different places to get their stuff out. <laughs> but I seen Pakistan, my God, it's like you walk into the, you walk out again. It's like just an ordinary chair and the guy's got these. It's like, it's like a two shape. Yeah. So, my friends and colleagues of Juicing, I'm going to now experiment on you. That's the best thing, that's the best way to say it. We've got a juicer ready. Cool. This is a juice. <laughs> well, the other one wasn't a smoothie, just a banana part. Yeah, but... No, just do the banana. It was lost in translation, it's okay. Bill okay. Murray made a film on it. You see? Matching now. Take a photograph. Now, let's see. Okay. 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 okay, so we're going to make this now, right? This is something I've done before I came here, so I have no idea if it's going to taste. I'm going to try and um, see, if, see if I can... See if I can make it taste good. So we need, we need that's one pineapple or two? Four. Four. Three. Four. Four. Oh, pineapple's in that. Are you serious? Is there? Yeah, we, was, uh, we were expecting... Uh, 40 people, yeah. Uh, yeah, what happened? Do people do this? They just say they come and they don't come? Is that like normal? Yeah, that's normal. Is it normal? Is it normal? Yeah. Well, they missed out. We had the fun. So let's, yes. put, let's put two pineapples in. Two pineapples? Yeah. Okay. Two pineapples. Okay. Two pineapples. Okay. Two pineapples. Okay. So ginger, it's oregano, rosemary, basil, and a little bit, I'm not putting much of that in, and for that little bit it is. Okay. So we're going to some, I'm going to put some apple juice into it. Ginger? Okay. Yeah, ginger. Okay, so I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you the net leaves. We're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Who has gloves? Victoria. Gloves. Rook. 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 Where's my rook? Was she walking around the Gosford or something? I'm from Lika. Really? Yes. That's really. I'm from Lika. Okay. You're from Lika. We are going to develop it sometime. Oh, yeah, I thought you were going to say something else there for a minute. We're not going to be a robot of all. You know each other. It's like, it's like a biblical story. They knew each other. You know? Okay, so we're going to be an Okay. So, oregano, rouge marin, basil, where are we? Bosca. Bosca and rouge marin and oregano. Oregano? These guys are so potent as anti-inflammatories anti and antioxidants. For room, people who have rheumatic condition. Some of the other ones I wouldn't put in a soup or a juice. The soup, like the last one. Okay, no juice. Hmm? No juice. No tea. Okay. No tea, but we may add some. We may add some. We'll see how much juice we get out of the nettles. So just put that stuff through. So this could taste absolutely horrible. <laughs> this is a complete experiment. <laughs> Hopefully my instinct is instinct is okay, but that's a lot of oregano and rose mine and boss legs. The juice are fit and healthy people, you know? We just want to taste things. Who would the taste things again? Who likes to taste things to taste? Ah, well, come on, guys. No, you're not, not a taster. You're not a taster. <laughs> you know, I like that one, because I'm not a taster. It depends what it is. So, hmm? Okay. Okay. I'll put some garlic here. Oh, man, garlic? Stop. I have to say, the pe people who use garlic... <laughs> 
Spring, <laughs> sunny weather. <laughs> Seriously, the last two years in Ireland, the summers have been great. <laughs> two years ago, two and a half years ago. It's quite rainy, so. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, this is the one. You're here. You're right here. You know what? You know what? Maybe I'm the love child of Thor. Thor? Yeah. Norwegian gold? Yeah. That wasn't funny. Oh, no, it's come on. <laughs> Big big thunderstorm now and Thor comes down. Needle. You forgot this. Oh sorry Thor, thanks. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I, I've spilled enough juice on myself. Yeah. This isn't coming out, is it? Will this come out? You'll find out when I took out my shirt over each. But can I keep the colours on the shirt as well? Yeah. 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 These are the jeans these are the jeans I, I care about. These are these are my Sophie Lauren jeans. <laughs> then she died, and now it's like uh, Lauren Bacall died. Sorry, I called him Lauren Bacall, and now it's Sophie Lauren. You don't get that joke either. No. <laughs> you know the great jean manufacturer, like, like uh, no. Oh, uh, you don't know. No, I used to call it a joke, but Lauren Bacall. Oh, Lauren, I know it. And then she died, so I had to change it anyway. That was my fault too. So let's, let's give the mounts here. Much, much pineapple did you put in? Was it two pineapple? Two and a half. <laughs> that is funny. Did you trip on nothing? No, but it's still being done. This is this is a double act. I can see where this is going. Lots of dry cleaning bills and stuff like that. So it's it's basically pineapple, and you just dry. It contains a uh, chemical called bromelain. Bromelain. Ah, Mm -hmm. Anti-inflammatory, digestive tract, anti-inflammatory, muscular, skeletal system, anti-inflammatory. Okay. So, so if you suffer any kind of inflammatory conditions at all, gastritis, irritable bowel, um, ulcerative colitis, okay, it's not going to solve your problem, just take a pineapple, but eat more pineapple. And also eat the center of the pineapple. Contains more. Who? Anna? Oh man, sorry. Yeah, well, um, uh, that was, uh, I don't know. I, I think she has no inflammatory conditions at all. She probably doesn't have an inflammatory system. <laughs> it's so anti-inflammatory. Um, okay, but you know when you say the creation, it's just in English, it sounds too much, I can't say it. I can't say it, the creation word for... Yeah. You were saying ananas, and I'm like, what? Ananas? Yeah. You know in English, yeah, I just can't say ananas. So I'll just buy it. Can we two ananas, please? Mm -hmm. Sorry, down here, next door? Okay. <laughs> She drinks, she takes a whole ananas a day. Yeah, or two. No, that's too much. But it's like anything. You can only do that. So, we don't have, we don't have the, the, the radishes. So we know. So we can't, we can't really do it, but what we'll do is we'll still do it. Okay. So the rest of the pineapple, please. Okay. So what we do? We'll, we'll, we'll put some, put in the pineapple and put in the pear. So okay. maybe maybe four pears. Okay. And the rest of the pineapple. Okay. And we'll put in a couple of apples. Um, some ginger again? Ah, oh, ginger is here. Enough? No. Oh, oh, oh. Who likes ginger? <laughs> Who doesn't like ginger? <laughs> it's all about dose. Okay. Just to a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What have you got there? That's 
about to cut the pen. <laughs> one, one ananas a day? Yeah, at least. At least? That's quite the three at least. It's not too much. I think you I think you're meant to be a street dancer. What? In Brazil. <laughs> I know, no one would have ananas on their head. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to that night. That's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun, girl. So, also in this year, this is what we call, I, I call it the snot sniff no more. So, snot, sniff, Dosta. 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 Get a mucus, you know, they go out for a drink, through your kidneys. So this is this is again tea because you know get basket flowers in autumn. <laughs> but you also would you want to get as much out as possible, much of the oils out, so again good tea. tea. And about Trapuzza, 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 are you a teacher? Are you very good at this? And you smile, I love teachers who smile at me. teachers who go... You know? Those teachers. But I don't like teachers who smile, I guess, here. No, no, that's a really, really cute smile. That's, that's really... Happy smile. <laughs> stop some of that in the future. You know what she said? I've loved you since the day I met you. <laughs> it's not in flower, but I... I want me to do it again? <laughs> the day I met you, I loved you. I always give my girls crappy roses, but for you... Trepuzza. <laughs> Why not? Uh, and then, then that, that's the Maurice. Give me some liquid vodka. <laughs> okay. Okay, where did I leave it? Quick thing. Where did it go? Oh, that was right under my nose, you see? Snip, snap. Oh, no. <laughs> Just catching it like this. Okay, so. We need a few cups of this beauty. Oh, okay. Where do you want me to put it? Uh, I have a bar. Okay, you pour it. We're going to call our kids Terpuzzas. Terpuzzas and Terpuzzas. Oh, I love this plant. See it, you know? So kind of like shamanic, you know? Bless you, my children. Bless you, my children. I'm glad you came to the roots. I hope you get home safely tonight. There you go. Look at that. Well, I love people. Oh, my God. Things are all like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on, give me your hands. I can't forget these guys. That's our little set. This plant is amazing. 
right? You're not, you're yeah. not putting that no, in there. No, no, no. I'll leave that to the guys who make this. You know, there's people who make the balance yeah. syrup. And they yeah, made one from Cadula? No. Did they, they made one from Cadula? No, I can't do it. Oh, no, you know the, the, the guy's little sashes in the coffee bar? Mm -hmm. Friends of friend, of mine, friends of my friend. But you bet so you may also don't have to only cut my lunch. That's it's a matter of I'm not saying, I'm not accusing anyone, I'm not saying anything when I'm about to say what I'm about to say. But if you ever suffer from hot flushes, drink some of this. You make a hot tea, make a hot tea, but let it cool down. Very estrogenic. Hydroestrogens, love hydroestrogens. I'm a hydroestrogen. And also, is a, it works, it's kind of. Yeah, amphoteric, it works. It, it increases sweating when you drink it as a hot tea, like diaphoretic, diaphoresis. But when it's cold, it, it normalizes a lot of sweating, you know? So it kind of like balances. Yeah. You will not sweat. None of you will sweat. More than you need to. No. No, 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 no. There's more to come here. Another couple of this. Many, 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 two. Okay, we need a third one. Okay, okay, I'll do another one. Third. Full cups. And flowers. Other flowers, get them in there. Yeah, you go. So, imagine if you put rock to it in there. Yeah. 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 And the stuff would just pour out of you, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what I, I also would add, but you guys can do it if you want. A pinch of cayenne pepper. If you want to put some in, do. Another thing is really good for people who have a lot of inflammatory conditions <coughs> again. So sinusitis. Sinusitis? People? A lot of inflammation. Licorice is incredible as a demulcent, cooling, soothing. It's very good for mu removing mucus from the, from the digestion. You can add a little bit of licorice. Woo! Smell that! It's not as powerful. So let's try this as it is first, I think, right? And then we'll add some more. Maybe this is so little liquid. Maybe we can add a little bit of apple juice. No, no, there's more. Sorry, I didn't see that. But raw delicious in it is amazing. I, I worked hard trying to find something you could put raw delicious in a taste food, you know, because like, it's like. Why? Well, I don't like it. <laughs> no, it is. It's very good. A better plant is horseradish. What's that? It is, yeah. Eat too much and you kind of like, you know, power shit. <laughs> but I think raw is, 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 is more mild than, than wasabi. Wasabi? Wasabi? A little bit of cayenne pepper, I, I used to do this all the time in the morning. But start with a small amount like uh cuts you want to eat. Yeah, of <laughs> Yeah, we need to get this right. Because I had a friend, I told him to take a teaspoon and I knew they could take it and they needed it because they really did cardio circling. It's a very powerful circulation of the heart and made you sweat like fuck. You all eat, you all have pepper. I said one teaspoon, but I didn't say it, I wrote it, T-A-S-P. They thought I said tablespoon. 
Right. Let's just say I got a call after a few days going, Man, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's working. You know, I'm sweating for an hour. And then? And then I says, really, that's very strange. You only meant to take a small amount. It's a small amount, man. Take a tablespoon. Make a say, no, no. What? <laughs> teaspoon. It happened before when you write things like that, short, short versions. Some people don't know it. I thought everybody did, but then I studied it, so. I, I had a girl who took her medicine. She had kidney stones. And I give her really, really powerful, you know, Gravel, gravel, basically hurts break up gravel and stones, basically. Mm -hmm. anti lithic right? Mm -hmm. And uh, again, teaspoon, tablespoon. She, she was my friend and she took it for a month. And then I, I checked up with her when I was home in Northern Ireland. And I says, well, how's the medicine, are you okay? She says, yeah, I just got an ultrasound, there's no stones, really. Fucking brilliant, that's amazing. <laughs> she, she, had, she had staghorn, like this. In one kidney, mm -hmm. like this. It fills the whole cavity of the kidney, and uh, it was gone. But she was in so much pain when she went to the toilet, mm -hmm. and she was bleeding. And then they found out she was taking a tablespoon of the medicine. So yeah, dose is important. Oh, no, 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 I'm just going to put a touch of cayenne pepper. And that's quite that's quite a lot actually because. I'll just eat any bit, no? Camera, you get this? That's the sex one. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Okay, I think I, 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 I'm going to do two bowls. We're going to do one Where's my spoon? I think so. Yeah. I think for everybody it's going to be like, you know, everyone's going to be called. What are we doing? Oh, sorry, sorry. It's from cinnamon. Ah, oh, but cinnamon's perfect. Cinnamon is actually antiviral. So actually, cinnamon would work in here as well. But yeah. I think then, I think then, I think then I'm just experimenting with you guys. Thank you. Colombia would be better off the other way. I'm not experimenting. No, no. I'm not looking at this thing, because I actually don't know. Anything else? Help and see if it was me. No, that's it. Toto, toto. Okay, toto. Toto. Oh yeah, menta. Love menta. Juice and menta is lovely. Do you ever take menta juice? Mm. Nice. Very powerful though. I had a friend who tacked, he was a bit of a crazy guy, you know, substance abuse type stuff. But herbal medicine, he drank six, six teapots of menta tea. And uh, he starts seeing the peppermint people. <laughs> And I believe him completely because he's one of those guys, he just, you know, he's not afraid to say that stuff and he just was like, 
He totally tripped out. It was a complete psychedelic moment. So even psychedelics of plants is enough of it, and you know stuff happens in your mind. You ever take something like too much juices? Well, that's what you know, green juices. That's a trip. I don't know about you guys, but when you drink loads of green juices, especially wild foods, because in Ireland I used to do wild food walks. People, how are you going to be sitting there? not there. But by the end of the walk, people are. In. Very, 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 very powerful because it's full of, it's just like eating, you know, it's like reading Umberto Eco in half an hour. You know, it's like way too much for the brain. It's like, whoa, information overload. Your digestive systems are like a, it's a chemistry lab, right? So if you put too much chemistry in there. Yeah. Your body starts shutting down. You know, it's like overloaded. A lot of the, I mean, your body just shuts down. Your digestion, that's when you start shitting. The body's like, no, no way, I'm getting rid of that stuff. <laughs> you notice I'm not exactly, you know, really proper around my language. Yeah. Why not? Shit, shit. We're, we're all juicers, yeah. right? So. <laughs> Who shits in the room? In the room? No. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> no. The toilet, the toilet's underneath me. That would be good. <laughs> so, yeah, we all shit. No one put their hands up. Come on, guys. We all shit. It's normal. <laughs> Except John Wayne. <laughs> you know why John Wayne walked like this? <laughs> you know why he walked like that? I'm not serious. Is John Wayne walked before that? His intestines are completely compacted. <laughs> he hasn't shaved for months. For months and years. <laughs> <Proper. laughs> I was always like locked and he died. He's into my car. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> totally John Wayne. <laughs> I was like, John Wayne, every woman was like, I love the way he walked. <laughs> he doesn't juice enough. <laughs> Over there, John. Come on, here for your juice now. I'm all right, man. I'm just gonna need a, I'm gonna need a cow. Wait a minute. Seriously, I, I'm sure he exaggerated the walk a bit. Or he had a bad hip. <laughs> She's completely losing. Somebody take the juice off Victoria. <laughs> You should never taste juicy, really, when you're doing this, because it's like... Uh, <laughs> but really tasting juices when you're doing this is not good. For you guys, I try and make it into something, because I want to make medicinal plants and juices work together, right? For medical purposes and for conditions, it's not just a... Joke around, right? But people won't take it if it tastes like shit. Except my teacher friend who's like, you know? I'm a bit like that. I'm kind of, I always think that way, you know. I might just put everything in, just blend it up and make it this over. But it's nice to sit with the juice look across the gear on the other side of the room. <laughs> Too much pepper? Yes, yes. Too much pepper. Who? Too much pepper who? But guys, remember what it's for too. And I know it catches a little here. If you're not used to pepper, okay. I get that. But if you've got a really runny nose and you know feeling under the weather, you want that antiviral effect. Oh, that that stimulant effect. effect. You don't want to drink it, right? I know. I would add a whole lot more. That's that's kind of my for me. The KM is a very safe stimulant. Unlike coffee, you cannot ask me a question. Is it long or short? Yeah. Someone has problems with allergy and then running nose and those kind of things. Well, the elderflower is also anti-allergenic. 
you know, so I would use, I would, I would use other, if it's an allergy, and you may have to, you have to think of a few things if it's, you know, localized, so it's just from the pollen and irritating passages in, in the respiratory system, or it's to do with their digestion. You know, but sometimes it, it can be to do, it can be due to the fact that their immune system is, is overwhelmed by various different proteins. So it could be ambrosia, because ambrosia is a problem here, right? Yeah. <coughs> and I, I was, I, I own my land in Karlovac. It kind of grows like it owns the place. As well as Kopina, Kopreva, Roja. So I got a big thorny mess, and then ambrosia is like, and I was cutting with a strimmer cutter. I remember I was, my eyes were like red, bloodshot red, and I had no idea what it was. I thought maybe it's the coping, something when I'm cutting. <laughs> I think because I cut coping so much that it's trying to get its own back. <laughs> it's kind of created chemistry to repel me. And Victoria sent it a re in my resume, you know, my, or my, my chemistry results. It's like, oh, I know what this is. But I actually realized it was the ambrosia. So, Normally, with it, normally with it is to do with the immune system, right? A person's immune system. Mm -hmm. um, is it just ambrosia? Is it for you? Yes, I have. I have it, but uh, I had it mm -hmm. more before. Now, in the past two years, uh, it's it's better. It's much better. It's much better. Yeah. So, what did you do different, Juicy? Um, no, I just. There you go. Were you very stressed a few years ago? Before, yeah. Hmm. So, stress is a, has a huge impact, and not only stress, but overthinking. Mm -hmm. And overthinking affects the digestive system hugely. If you ruminate a lot, your digestive system isn't relaxed enough, for one, blood circulation isn't going there. You're in sympathetic mode, sympathetic mode, not sympathy. Sympathetic mode, so you're kind of like releasing a lot of adrenaline, so your, your digestion requires you to be relaxed. And I always say to people, when you want to eat, eat. Eat, in, eat, eat when you're relaxed. And don't eat with somebody who's really like, unless he's my son. <laughs> but try, 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 breathe and set, set the mood, get your appetite going before you eat. Once you get your digestive working really, really well, with bitters, um, even relaxation music before you eat, you know, sitting down resting before you come home from work, all of those things. Normally a, a lot of allergies just they eventually clear up. The digestive system for me is that you, you sort that out. And, and lots of juice. And the flour, nettle. Znači, gospodin za alergiju šta je dobro, jer ima alergiju na ambroziju i uh, da je se u principu u dvije godine poboljšalo, pa on pitao je, bila, da je dobro, je prvo da je dobra baza za to i pitao je za, kao, ajmo reći, šta se desilo te dvije godine, to je prije dvije godine da je sad bolje, pa je kada išao neke terapije i da neke energetske tretmane i da pitao da li je bila prije više u stresu, pa je rekla da, pa je počeo pričati o tome da u principu kroz probavni sistem, odnosno kroz, ajmo reći, zdravu prehranu i kroz jedenje na miran način, znači, ajmo reći, dok se čovjek prati sa posla, da si uzme vremena, da se smiri, da se pusti eventualno rekonstruirajući muziku, da jede, znači, te zdrave stvari, da ne jede s nekim koji je jako nervozan, niti na brzinu, da u principu kroz to sve se može dosta toga riječi. Isn't she amazing? Yeah. I remember all of that. Maybe she probably was saying things that I didn't say, but didn't <laughs> Try that now with the apple. Much better. So guys, really, that's it from the juicing zone. Um, if you have any questions, Please ask. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to ask you. Gospodin? Gospodin? Mr. Gospodin, I'm going to ask you if you're eating just raw food or also no, baked no, and cooked no, and Me? Or fish. All the fish. Are you fish? Yeah. Do you eat just raw food or... Sometimes you... I eat chicken, but very rarely. I don't eat meso. Okay. I eat a mix of raw food. Most of my raw food comes from smoothies and juices. I have a habit when I'm cutting. I've eaten it. 
you know, and take pizza. I, I eat when I'm cooking, and then I can't eat. <laughs> what but do you think about cooking food? Hmm? What do you think about uh, treating uh, food, uh, baking, uh, cooking? Uh, Cookers? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's, there's lots of people doing that. Yeah, but... I need a crook. Raw food yeah. or do you cooking? Bread? What do you prefer? Do I eat bread? No, I don't. I don't really like bread, but I do eat it. And Croatia is good bread generally. There's a lot of good bread in Ireland. We have really shit bread. Yeah. Znači nemaju kruh, ali ga jede i da ovdje uopće po Hrvatskoj ima dosta dobar kruh, ali uopće baš nemaju tako dobar kruh. I don't think that's true. Well, I don't know. I mean, as I said, I don't, I don't, I don't go to hell. I used to. I mean, guys, when I when I studied this, I was on. I must have done about ten or twelve different diets and cleanses and all sorts of. I was on the lemonade diet for 10 days. I don't know if you've ever done the lemonade diet. No, just like her. Oh my God, like, I'm, I'm going to get graphic again. So if you really are, you know, sensitive disposition, do this. But there was mucus plaques coming out of me from my bowel, from this. That's pure cayenne pepper and lemon and everything. <laughs> I da doslovce preli su sluzi izlazili iz njega i to da znači sve on to isprobuje prije, znači se jedno reći bazira na tome, a sad svašta jede i... But mostly I actually look after myself. Uglavnom da se samo brine za sebe, znači jede zdravo i gleda da je u balansu dovoljno jede stava. I was a kind of extremist, you know, like Kirsten, vegetarian, I was a vegetarian for years and I was a vegan for a little while until I realized, fuck, I can't do this. Yeah. Because my social life is a nightmare, <coughs> and I don't need to be, because I don't actually, I like, you know, eating, you know, dairy products sometimes, not so much, but eggs and stuff. I don't, I don't everything, and I was like, still had some can, can, you know, can diga problems. Yeah. So what I teach, and I teach when I teach herbal medicine, um, I was teaching in Ireland in, in university, and for, for me the most important thing is, is actually listening to your body. All of your bodies are very different organisms. With, with, with very different stressors on that organism, very different populations of bacteria. You've got a whole ecosystem inside that's different than mine. You could say you're a human being, I'm a human being, but that's probably about it. So your chemistry makeup, men, women are different. Women and women are different. Znači svako ima drugče potrebe i svakom nešto ne paše, drugom to možda ne paše. Znači i razlike između svake osobe i muško i žensko ima drugče potrebe i u svakoj fazi života opet ima svako drugače potrebe. Znači samo se treba brinuti za tebe i slušati šta ti tijelo može. Just listen to your body. Listen, what feels is right. Make, make like your dog. What, what, do you only want to have a dog? Who has a dog? Cat? Tiger? Leopard? <laughs> <laughs> Giraffe? Okay, so your dog, what's your dog? What does your dog do? Mm. Dog would find its own medicine. Walk. Hmm? Walk. He does walk. Eat Some grass. dogs. Eat Most grass. dogs. Eats grass, right? In Native American traditions, the Native people were taught herbal medicine, plant medicine from the bear. The bear is the most varied, ver, ver, varied diet for roots and nuts and seeds and berries and green stuff. What the bear knows, I want to find out. And when I've done some shamanic work, I connect with the bear a lot. And I'm always, when I'm, when I'm in that space, like, tell me more, man. I'm coming out of this now, please tell me. I'm, I'm getting nervous because I want all the information. The bear, watch the animals, and then consider yourself one. Znači, pitao je koji ima psa mačka i to da gledamo životinje šta rade, da većina tih, znači, sjeverni amerikanci su u biti se učili od, ajmo reći, životinja, ali posebno od medida, jer oni jedu stvarno ono široki spektar bobice, lišće, grane, skoru, korijenje, simenke, sve živo i od tog su, znači, njih su naučili šta se može jesti. Bears are amazing. You guys have bears, bears are dead long ago. Because we humans, primates, very violent creatures, decided to get rid of them. Because they were taking our... And then when they go on, we're like, oh, what about herbal medicine? Fuck, did you not ask them? I thought you were going to ask them. So, you have a wild nature in Velevit, in Goskakota, Lika. 
wolves, bears, everything, right? Now you need to find the wild in you if you haven't found it, right? Find the wild person inside you. Seriously, yeah. and you may think I'm joking, but I'm being really, 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 not being really, really serious. Yeah, that's stupid. But just find the wild inside you. Try things. Eat this. Go walk about with cinnamon. Not see, not just that doesn't fall in there by accident, you know. But just try stuff. Be the substance abuser. Kaže mi on super prirodu ovdje i puno životinja koji nisu recimo istremni medvjedi i tak dalje, da bi mi trebali učiti od životinja. I ono, biti sami životinje, osuškivati to i evo, sami isprobavati neke stvari. Experiment. A ne pretirivati, naravno. Why not? It's great. You love experiment and I know you do, man. And you're a dose man. You know, you use your nose. See, we've all got five senses, and Maya's got six. <laughs> Some people say, I have seven. I have no idea what the seven one is. But five senses are going to help you a lot. I have a friend who eats mushrooms, and he knows a little bit. His grandfather told him. But, but even mushrooms he doesn't know, he uses smell. And then he tastes a little bit. I'm like, man, you're fucking crazy. You know, mushrooms are not like <laughs> funny, funny people. But he, he really uses his senses and trusts his intuition. I'm not saying you guys go out and eat loads of mushrooms and <laughs> unless you know mushrooms. Znači, njegov prijatelj se bavi gljivama, odnosno bere gljive, ali da čak neke koje ne znam da su baš jestive, da koriste, znači, posjetila od njuha za da skuže da li je to pravo, da li je otrovno. I, ili, e, po, ili nekad može proba mali komadić, ali pa nije da kaže da treba eksperimentirati je sve živo i otrovace ili neke, ali da ipak treba probavati i opet, kažem, slušati tijelo i balans. Da li ide kolače, šećer? Ne, jedete. Svežden. Gentleman asked me if you're eating sweets and cookies and sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. You know what, man? I love my chocolate chip cookies, and if you try to take them away from me, you're in big trouble. Again, it's the chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, it's my bear, yeah, man. Have you, ever seen, have you ever seen bears in a, in a, in a camping spot? That tells you everything. The bears think of fat deposits, sugar deposits. No, I won't deny myself cookies or anything like that now. I know when I've had enough now, whereas before I didn't. Before I was trying to... For me, it's like, if you abuse anything, whether it be computer games, masturbation, excuse my language, um, loads of sugar, what you're doing is you're trying to mask a deeper need. Yeah. That's all you're doing. And you know what it is. And you still get the packet of cookies out. <laughs> but it never gives you what you need. Here's a good practice. If there's some deeper need in you, go to another person you trust. Tell them what you need right now. Tell them you need a hug. Tell them you go for a walk. Tell them you need, I'm really sad, I'm really angry about something. Tell them. If you turn to the sugar, okay. It's a good lesson. It's a good lesson, like, you know, when you're sitting there and your sugar's really, you know, it's like, whoa, and you want more and more and more. But it's a deeper need you're talking to. Bilo šta ono da se... Znači uzrok tome. Da se da. A ovo je samo, ajmo reći, nabacivanje tim nečim i ak shvatiš dobro, ak ne, opet da će dalje ostaje taj problem. I like beer. I'm Irish. Love my beer. Creation beer. It's great. Some it's okay. And I like some creation beers, especially in the smaller breweries. And I want to create an Irish beer here, you know, some really like some of these plants in it. I like her mm -hmm. beers. They're fucking serious. I, there's a guy, a friend of mine, he wrote a book. It's Herbal Beers. And uh, it's just got all these old recipes for beers, like, you know, Heath and, and Caldula, lots of stuff. Making brewing beers from herbs. Oh, what you, you, like? you, know, you guys have Trabarica, right? So you like putting shit in alcohol. Mm -hmm. I think that's all the people. He, uh, <laughs> zadovoljan hrvatskim pivima, ima te neke manje pivovore koje, koje ajmo reći, voli ta piva, ali da bi htio napraviti nekako pivo sa ovim razno raznim biljkama, da i kao mi imamo travaricu, znači volimo mi stavljati razno raznim biljke u alkohol, pa eto, probajte ovo napraviti nekako. 
I think that, I think Travarics is nice, but I think some people have better recipes. Some other people just like put everything in, mm -hmm. and it's a bit it's powerful. The thing is with alcohol, I seen a video where there was these African creatures who found out a tree. I don't know what fruit it was, but it was completely fermented, and the animals were like wobbling, walk, like yeah. asleep, eating the. We love alcohol, not just primates. We love alcohol. Why not? It's good anesthetic. Yeah, Because tannins tighten the digestive tract, so you don't, you're not so open to absorption of iron. And vitamin C. So I, I don't, I don't think so. Citric acid. I think it's probably just for the taste. I don't think. It yeah. Yeah. Uh, what kind of plant? Well, well, if I give you the answer what I do to my son, um, I give my son everything. I, I don't really think, a lot of the plants I use are very safe plants. Um, I, would, I would say that you need to be careful with very stimulating plants. Like, well, given, given lots of cayenne pepper, given lots of ginseng, not, not Siberian ginseng. Yeah. Anything that will give them... Maybe in, 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 they're very sensitive, yeah. so it really comes down to dose. Yeah. My son gets everything. But in a small dose, something. <laughs> Seriously, uh, my son's been drinking medicine since he was like three months old, okay. and he's been drinking tinctures. And now I think that's why he gets he's a, he's a whiskey lover. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Capmint. It's probably the best best well, plant for kids well, kids uh, temperatures. Catnip. Look look up the English name catnip and you'll find the creation. Much of it. You know? Okay. So it's probably called the same. Yeah. Ear pain, maybe a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so a little bit of, little bit of garlic and, and also a plant called mullein verbascum. Verbascum vastus. Um, for Basque and I'll use this one. Melissa. Melissa, you know it's from here. Which one is it? Melissa, Melissa, Melissa. Melissa, yeah. But Melissa is very good for kids too. Melissa is one of those plants that help raise your mood, but not really high. And if, if, you're, if you're too high, it helps blow away your mood a little bit. It's a very good nerve tonic for kids. Ver, sorry, maybe let's do this right. Ver, Bas. Some das da no das 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 and garlic plus chesnia in an oil for the ears and if they're very young just rub it on the outside and if they're like maybe eight, a year to eighteen months and older. You can put warm a drop in the ear, but just sit it on the top of the ear, don't drop it right on the eardrum. Mm -hmm. You know when you were young, your mommy lay you down like this? Mm -hmm. and you're like, oh! Just, just put it on the outside and it'll roll in itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
To put some garlic in, in the oil and break it up. But don't, not, not garlic in the oil. But the French used to put it up their asses. <laughs> they used to slice the garlic as in score it, like sh 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 and it's part of the ass for yeah. the inflammatory conditions of the bowel, the prostate. I'm really not the best person to ask because I really don't treat cosmetics too often. I, I kind of treat the internal system. So what I would be looking at is the liver. And I'd be looking at stress levels. Because most, most women, like, let's just take a picture. Say we have women, say no, let's say okay. boys and girls who get acne, for instance. I like that one. Use, there's a herb called Agnes Cassis. Agnes Cassis. That's really big, isn't it? <laughs> Agnes Cassis. Cassis. Agnes Cassis. So it's, it's hormone related, you know. So that plant is very good at balancing, you know, estrogen progesterone in women and also antigen, testosterone and male. Agnes but you see, lower, lower in estrogen, it depends. See, too much knowledge is too much knowledge. Because <laughs> a lot of people would try and give, you know, phyto, uh, phytoprogesterone herbs, plants like Agnes Castus, to kind of counteract the estrogen. Because it's kind of like the dance between progesterone and estrogen. You know? The first part of your cycle is estrogen, loads of energy, and the second part is going deep down inside your soul. Mm -hmm. And women just disappear in their soul and they don't like the second part. So you go to the doctor and he goes, you've got too much estrogen. I would say probably what's going on with some women, and, and, and the way I treat some women is also psychological, is that the second part of the cycle, they don't want to go there. <laughs> I'm not going there. So they kind of they kind of get into a cycle of even testosterone, which is kind of very similar to estrogen. They get into a bit of a cycle, and they raise testosterone levels, a lot of cortisone levels, you know, a lot of sympathetic, you know, do, 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 I don't have a period, I'm just fucking normal, you know, and fucking look at me, and I'm kidding. <laughs> so it's kind of all this pent up frustration, the hormones don't know what to do. Because what herbs do, herbal medicine doesn't treat it. Herbal medicine, like plants, gives you a raw ingredient. If your body does something with it. So if your body's not using the raw ingredients correctly, something's not going right with either your psychology or a functional issue in your body. You understand, right? So with, with a lot of women, firstly, they're told not to be women. Go be yes. a woman. Be a man. I wanted a boy, and I got you. Yeah. Okay? It's, sh it's shameful to be a woman. Um, am I right? Am I hitting the right note here? Well, I'm not saying you guys think that, but our society hasn't exactly looked at women in a very nice way, especially around their periods. You know, you're getting your period, don't tell anyone. Yeah. Your mother didn't tell anyone. She didn't tell you much about it. Don't tell your father. Don't tell your father. That's what I heard from my sister. It is stupid. So what I, what I work with women when it comes to estrogen, progesterone, I say, well, you, need to sort, you need to sort out your self-image. I mean, we need to have a talk. Most women are not me. Just give me some medicine, I'll go. A little bottle. So I give them lots of things. I give them trifolium. Where are we going? No, I promise not. Yeah. <coughs> Agnes Castus. But I really wor I work with women, and, and if they don't want to, do, if they don't want to go into those places because I'm a man, maybe that's the reason. I don't know. Um, then I don't really want to work with them. Yeah. It, no, no, no because the, the medicine will help. But still has to, yeah. You have to know what you are treating. Hmm. Ah. And, but women have to be prepared also to look at it mm -hmm. themselves in a way. And uh, I'm not here to blame women. Some women thought I'm blaming them. You think it's my fault? Mm -hmm. We don't have problems. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's only one book written on, on men's, you know, health, health, sexual health especially, that I know, one book, 
there's about five million books on oh. women. But yet, it's so, it's, so, it's so weird. Like, so men are telling women they have all the problems, and men don't want to talk about it. And one of the biggest things for men in their 50s is, and they don't want to talk about it? Yeah, prostate. Yeah. Prostate. Prostate cancer or benign hypertrophy. Okay, so this is an exercise for men. Stand up. So you're ready to clench. <clears throat> Women do it as well. <clears throat> ready? Work the muscles down here on the floor of the perineum. Can you see? No, Perfect. Sense. Most men carry what, this is a kind of an energetic, but it also has physical impact. Men carry their worry, you know, worry is. In their prostate. And many men, and maybe even women, but women who have a prostate, which is lucky for women, and many men clench their, are constantly clenching their asses in, in this area. I'm always clenching. It's like I'm, when I'm worried, tense. So if I'm looking at you right now, it doesn't mean that's why I'm looking at you. I don't have any, I don't have my sixth sense. But that's where we put our worry. Men worry a lot, they don't speak about it. And we, we just all laugh because men don't have any problems. Because it's so true. That's <laughs> One of the best plants for in inflammation of the prostate, prostitutes, <laughs> is uh, nettle root, copriva. And if you want to live oh. a really long, healthy life, <laughs> oh. <laughs> just eat nettles. <laughs> eat copriva, all of it. Eat the root, eat the leaf. Make 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 your your clothes out of the stalk. <laughs> Compost your garden with some of it as well, if, and eat the seed. So your kidneys will be fine, your prostate will be fine, your blood will be great, your digestion will be very healthy. You'll be very strong. You'll be like a bloody nettle. You looking at me? <laughs> you looking at me? Tell you, you walk past a group of nettles, and I, I, I'm not doing psychedelic here, but it is a bit psychedelic, and I can stand looking at nettles all day, and some patches of nettles just go, come on, I just dare you. <laughs> <laughs> but next time you walk past nettles, just, do you do this? Walk right past nettles, or do you do this? Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, if you do this, obviously you get stung, so next time you do this, you know. It's the same with coconut. I have many bottles of coping, I have lots of scratches to prove it. Yeah. Copina is a really protective plant, the leaf, right? Mm -hmm. Copina leaf, just like raspberry leaf, all of those thorny, um, they're incredible, especially for women. There we're talking about raspberry leaf for women, my God. Talk about a uterine tonic, and we're off men for a minute. Just eat nettles, guys, and women. Just eat nettles. And you'll be a healthy, Strong man, and woman, but I have a prostitute. He had arrhythmia problems, um, so what's his problem? Um, he had a problem with his heart, he had arrhythmia. What's really the problem? How is it? Um, you know. Sometimes he had a really uh, uh, high... Um, not blood pressure, blood pressure, but uh, heart. Palpitations, yes. racing heart. Yes, yes and I'm very. Uh, it was uh, irregular. Okay. What's really wrong with your father? You know. Yeah. Don't tell me what's wrong with your father. Probably. My mother died. Okay. So there's something big here, right? And is that when the problem started? Okay. So probably it's just he's not able to talk about it too much, and not able to grieve about it, and it's affecting his heart chakra. So you want to slip some medicine into his cup of tea, don't you? <laughs> no, he would like, he would gladly uh, drink. Oh, so he, he wants to, to yeah. deal, deal with this? Yeah. Has he spoken about it? His grief? Uh, no, no. He doesn't have anyone? Uh, how do you mean? Send him to me. He doesn't speak English. Can no, we, can, we, we, we can find another bloke if he doesn't want a woman there. But uh, th that's one level, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's probably really what's, what he needs. Like, Rouge Marin probably would help him. Try and release the tension in his chest. Glog would really help strengthen and tone his, his whole cardiovascular system, circulatory system. And it really depends what the other symptoms are, you know, physical manifestations. You know, does he have cold hands and feet? I don't know. Does he have panic attacks? 
I have no bad feeling. Does he uh, does he get headaches? No. no. Okay. Does he ever get pain on on his left side? He uh, he he did uh, mention a pain in his chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So you probably might be suffering from something called angina. 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 Okay. So his blood circulation to his his, his heart is starting to maybe to be diminished. So what it, what he needs is something to cayenne pepper would help him. But I wouldn't. I see. Now I'm always reluctant to give people solutions because you know I need to see them. Um, his, talk to them. Uh, his veins and his uh, heart are absolutely health, healthy. Okay, so he's got a, he's got a, he's got CGI, he's got everything checked out. Yes, everything is. Uh, his cardiogram is fine. No, yeah. perfect. So what's not happening is his, his heart's not singing properly. Yeah. And I'm not joking here. You know what they done with the heart? Done just for a second. They took, you know, the red thumb, the thumb, the thumb, the thumb, right? You think it's regular. Oh, I've got a regular heart thumb, the thumb. And you see in the ECG, it's like, you know, oh, perfect heart. But actually, what they done when they monitored for 24 hours, the guy's a cardiologist, and they look at the pattern of the variations of electric magnetic energy in the heart. And then they took this chart, which was kind of like, that's not a regular heart, it's like, <laughs> they mapped it on a, a music score. Oh my God. They played the score, they matched the notes, and it played this wonderful music. How amazing is that? They took, they took, a, they took a, a reading from somebody who's got, uh, I think it was arthrosclerosis or some basically cardiovascular disease. And my God, it was chaotic. There was no, you couldn't hear the music. And then somebody who was an end stage, you know, renal, or sorry, heart failure, from renal, to heart failure, and it was like two notes. Da -na, da -na, da -na. Oh man, you couldn't listen to it. It was like dragging nuts to listen to it. The guy played for a few minutes. So your father's heart needs to sing. Does he sing? No. Can he sing? <laughs> no, probably not. Does he like music? Um, yes, but he's, uh, he, he doesn't uh, listen to music for um, last four years. So what you need to do now is you need to get him on music. You need to find that score. Yeah, I leave the music in the car for not uh, too loud, mm. but he always turns it down. Oh, so he doesn't want, it. He doesn't want to hear music. No. <laughs> he needs help. He thinks it's wrong. What's wrong? To listen to music, to enjoy the life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's, 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 the fact that he's still alive and still breathing, he's guilty about it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And yet he wants her to help, so he's a cry for help. So, passion flower, passiflora, rosemary, globe, a little cayenne pepper. Does he like hot things? Yes. And some tilia. Oh, sorry, uh, lipa. Very good for grief. You can have a molar tea for grief. Leave. Okay. Disconnect between the grief and the person. Peter, I was traditional with so good to them of arrhythmia and palpitations, that is. And that in a way, is drab. And that there are no problems, that is, with the heart and the heart. And he asked him, "Where is it? Where did Mama die?" The answer is that. Znači, otac ne razgovara o tome, znači ne izražava svoje osjećaje i tu se vjerojatno pojavio neki zastav. I onda je on preporučio, znači, pasiflor, ružmarin, lipu i glog, znači za srce koje bi, znači, to malo, evo, lipu kao za tu tugu i tak dalje, znači da bi se malo to, da, da bi. Priča je u biti sad, kad su slikali, znači, srce, da je bio, znači, kardiolog je slikao, znači, ta srca, znači, srce ne ide jedno lično. Da kad su, znači, mjerili srce i stavili su, znači, glazbili, kako se kažem, to note koje odgovaraju, da je to bilo onak jako lijepa muzika za služba. Da kad su stavili neko koji ima neke probleme sa srcom, neko je ritmi ili nekakve, šta je, nekako uglavnom poremećaje, da onda su to bile onako neslušljive note. Znači, planta je da, eto, njezin otac treba, znači, da mu 
srce opet svira, jel, muziku svira i pitala je da li, da li voli muziku, da li sluša muziku, ne kaj se slušati muziku, da su ostali jedan mama u Londonu. Tako da on smatra da on nema očito pravo da vesele, kada je ona umrla, tako da treba se svočiti.